Let us assume that you want to start a glass bottle manufacturing plant. You're all thrilled about it because you believe that this is going to be a cash cow. However, your rational mind instructs you to conduct a quick investment analysis to determine whether the business would be actually profitable or not. And this is where this contribution margin comes handy. Contribution margin helps us understand the business's cost structure in depth and to determine the required sales volume to cover the costs and break even. Hi all. My name is Dheeraj from wallstreetmojo.com and in today's video we'll discuss all about contribution margin, how it is calculated and its uses. So let's get started. So what is contribution margin? Contribution margin is basically an analysis technique that helps you understand the business and its cost structures and the volumes that you must sell so that you can break even or become profitable. So consider this as an example. Let's say you want to start a glass bottle company and you want to sell the glass bottles to other players, right? So how much volume should you sell so that you can become profitable? This kind of analysis can be done using contribution margin. So let's take this example of glass bottle and see how contribution margin works. So you need to remember that if you are setting up this business of glass bottle, what will you need? The first thing that you will need is a manufacturing plant, right? So let's assume that the manufacturing plant that you want to set up costs, let's say $100,000. Okay, so this is $100,000 for you. All right, so this is something like a fixed cost. Remember that, okay? This is a fixed cost. Come what may, you have already incurred this cost. To set up the manufacturing plant, you would like to buy land and then, you know, bought the machinery. So you have this manufacturing plant set up assumed at, you know, $100,000 as a fixed cost, right? So even if you don't sell anything, this is the cost which has already incurred, right? Now, there is another thing that's important for you to know when we discuss this contribution margin is something called as a variable cost. Now, what are variable costs? So let's say if you want to sell bottles, right? So what will be the raw materials that you might need, right? So these raw material costs will be variable costs. So if you're selling, let's say 10 bottles, your raw material cost will be uh, whatever the raw material goes into the manufacturing of these 10 bottles. If you're selling, let's say 100,000 bottles, your raw material cost will increase because you have to buy more raw materials. So raw material like sand, lime, soda ash, etc. So I'm talking about that, right? So variable cost and fixed cost. So on this side, you remember this is the fixed cost and raw material and direct labor and it electricity cost all of these would be like variable cost and it depends on the number of bottles which you might sell okay so let's now assume that the variable cost of each bottle okay is let's say one dollar and uh, the selling price of each bottle is uh, let's say it is two dollars okay so for simplicity sake i have taken simple numbers all right so you're selling at a higher price and variable cost is one dollar so how will the economics of this whole uh, cost structure works so let me now introduce you to the formula of contribution margin all right so contribution margin is nothing but sales minus your variable cost okay so this amount of contribution margin helps us understand how much money do we have to cover the fixed cost how much is the fixed cost in this case the fixed cost is nothing but $100,000 here. So is contribution margin sufficient enough? That's the kind of answer we get it from analysis of contribution margin. So let us now do some scenario analysis. Let's assume that you are selling, let's say 10,000 bottles. So bottles sold is 10,000. So what's the contribution margin? Contribution margin is sales minus variable costs, sales minus variable cost. So let us calculate each one of them for 10,000. So this will be sales is equal to 10,000 bottles sold multiplied by $2. That's a selling price, right? So that will be sales. What's the variable cost? Variable cost will be 10,000 multiplied by $1, right? 
so how much is your contribution margin this will be equal to 20,000 minus 10,000 right so what's your fixed cost by the way the fixed cost is hundred thousand dollars right so is it good enough to cover that cost no so this business of yours is unprofitable at 10,000 bottles sold let us now look at a scenario when the bottle sold is let's say 100,000 okay so instead of 10,000 now we have 100,000 so what will be your sales numbers sales numbers will be this 100,000 multiplied by 2 right variable cost will be 100,000 multiplied by 1 so what's your contribution margin contribution margin is 100,000 right so is it good enough to cover your fixed cost so fixed cost is hundred thousand dollars right so it is enough to cover your fixed cost and therefore your profit before tax will be equal to how much this will be in this case zero right so this becomes your break even point right you need to sell a minimum of hundred thousand bottles to break even but if you were to sell only ten thousand what will be your profit you will be at a loss of ninety thousand dollars but what if you sell 150,000 bottles? So in that case, you will definitely become profitable. Let's calculate the profitability. So here you have the sales numbers. This will be your cost. And we get the contribution margin as 150,000. And your fixed cost is 100,000, right? So your profit before tax will be $50,000. Okay, so as I said, contribution margin helps us understand how much money is left to cover the fixed cost and what are your break-even points. So as we can see, you know, we can do the sensitivity analysis and understand more about the cost structure of the company. And that's how contribution margins can be used. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please do like and share. And if you have any feedback or want to suggest a topic for any future videos, then you may do so by writing about it in the comment section. Also, we come up with interesting videos on finance and accounting topics regularly. So if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button so that you can get the notification as soon as we release the new video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.